Senior health videos are exploding on YouTube right now, and the numbers are massive. Every day creators are pulling in millions of views with simple, helpful health tips designed for seniors. And the best part is that this niche is evergreen. Seniors love consuming this type of content because it's practical, relatable, and easy to follow. That means the demand never goes away, and new creators can still jump in and start building a successful channel. In this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to create viral senior health tips videos without spending a dime. You don't need expensive cameras, complicated editing software, or even your own voice. I'll walk you through how to use completely free AI tools to generate professional voiceovers. Find the right images and video clips and put everything together into a polished video that looks and sounds amazing. And here's the kicker. If you stay with me until the end of this video, I'll reveal a secret trick to design eye-catching thumbnails that will make your videos stand out and boost your click-through rate instantly. Let's dive in and start building your viral senior health channel today. The first thing I'm going to do is get a captivating title. Titles are so important because they're the first thing people see. And if the title isn't strong, no one is going to click on your video, no matter how good the content is. So let me show you exactly how I do it. Right here, I'm opening up ChatGPT and I'll type in a simple prompt. I'll write, you are a medical doctor specializing in senior health. Give me five senior health tips video ideas. And as you can see, in just a few seconds, ChatGPT gives me a list of professional engaging titles that are perfect for this niche. This makes it super easy to brainstorm ideas without stressing or wasting time. But I don't stop there. Another trick I use is checking out channels that are already successful in the senior health space. I'll go to one of these channels, click on their videos, and then filter them by most popular. Now I can see which titles brought in the biggest views. What I do next is take one of those proven titles and tweak it just a little to make it my own. That way I'm not guessing. I'm modeling success that's already working. Once I've got my title, I'll paste it into a document so I can keep everything organized. The next step is to generate the script for the video. Here's exactly how I do it. I'll take the title I just created and head back to ChatGPT. Now I'll give it a prompt like this. You are a seasoned medical doctor. I need a YouTube video script outline of at least eight minutes for my video titled. Insert your video title here. Then I'll hit send. And in just a few seconds, ChatGPT generates a detailed outline for me. This saves me hours of planning and ensures my video has a proper structure from start to finish. Once I have the outline, I'll go a step further. I'll give ChatGPT another prompt to actually develop the script from the outline. Something like generate the script from the outline. Above, start with a strong and sharp hook that will suck the audience in and make them want to look into the video without thinking twice. Output only the narrator's voice. When I hit send, ChatGPT instantly begins building a full script that sounds professional and engaging. As soon as the script is ready, I'll copy and paste it into my document. Then I'll read through it, make small edits if needed, and polish up the flow. It's really important to go through it at least once, because even though the AI does most of the work, adding your personal touch makes the script feel more authentic and unique. Now that we have our script ready, the next step is to generate our voiceover. For this, I'll be using Minimax Audio, it's one of the best AI voice generators available right now, and the great thing is that it's free to use. When you sign up, you'll be given free credits that you can use to generate realistic AI voices. Once I'm in the dashboard, I'll head over to the left side and click on Voice Library. Here you'll see dozens of naturally sounding AI voices to choose from. You can even design a custom voice or clone your own. But for this tutorial, I'll stick with one of the built-in voices. Notice how you can filter by language, accent, gender, and even age. Let's preview a few of them. Let me share with you what I've learned over the years. My experience has taught me that patience is... Remember, life will test you, but it will never...
Picture this. Moonlight, ancient castle, and a mystery waiting to be solved. For this type of video, I'm looking for a deep, confident male voice that feels trustworthy and professional. Let me share with you what I've learned over the years. My experience has taught me that patience is... This one sounds perfect, so I'll click Use. On the screen, you'll also see that you can add pauses to your script, which helps the narration sound more natural. From the drop-down menu, I'll select the latest Minimax model to make sure I get the best quality. Now I'll copy and paste my script into the editor. Keep in mind, you can only paste up to around 5,000 characters at once. If your script is longer, make sure to toggle on the long text option. On the right side, you'll see some settings. For instance, speed, pitch, and volume. I'll leave those at default for now. Once everything looks good, I'll click generate. And within a few seconds, my voiceover is ready. All I need to do is hit the download button and the audio saves straight to my device. And if you run out of credits, Minimax Audio offers affordable subscription plans for you to choose from. Now that we have our voiceover ready, the next step is to gather visuals for our video. For this, I'll be using Pixabay. It's a free platform where you can download copyright-free images and videos at no cost. If you happen to have Canva Pro, you can also grab video clips directly from there, but for this tutorial, I'll stick with Pixabay. If you look closely at the videos we're modeling, you'll notice that most of them simply show calming clips of nature, things like forests, mountains, or flowing rivers, while the voiceover plays in the background. That's exactly the style we're going for here. Inside Pixabay, I'll click on the Videos tab, then go to the search bar, and type in something like forest scenes or mountain. From here I'll download as many clips as I need, depending on the length of my voiceover. The longer your script, the more clips you'll need to keep things visually engaging. Once the clips are ready, we'll also add some background sound. This part is optional, but it really helps set the mood. You can find music right on Pixabay, but I recommend using the YouTube audio library instead, since it has a huge collection of copyright-free sounds. Just search for calm, soothing tracks that match the vibe of your video. Now that we have our visuals, background music, and the voiceover, it's time to bring everything together inside CapCut. Now let's bring everything together inside CapCut. I'll open the app, import the voiceover we just created, and drag it straight onto the timeline. To make sure it's loud and clear, I'll increase the volume slightly. Next, I'll import all of the visuals we downloaded earlier. I'll line them up carefully on the timeline, so they flow smoothly with the narration. If a clip looks too short or too long, I'll trim it to match the pacing. I'll also scale them up a little, so they fill the entire screen without leaving any black borders. Once I'm happy with the visuals, I'll import the background music. I'll drag it onto the timeline, under the clips and reduce the volume to about minus 18 decibels so it's soft and doesn't overpower the voiceover. To make everything look more polished, I'll add a subtle transition effect between clips. Something simple like a black fade transition works perfectly. Now for captions. I'll click on Caption, select a template, and hit Generate. After a few seconds, the captions are ready. I'll resize them by dragging to make them bigger, because many seniors struggle with eyesight. It's also important to use a good background contrast, so the text is easy to read. Once everything looks good, I'll click Export, give the video a title, choose the resolution, and export again. In just a few seconds, depending on the length of the video, our finished project is downloaded to the device. Now let's take a brief look at what we've created. Have you ever woken up in the morning after a full night's sleep, only to feel just as tired as when you went to bed? If you're over 60, it may not be about how many hours you sleep, but when you sleep. In fact, science shows that the time you go to bed could be the difference between waking up refreshed and alert or dragging through the day with low energy and poor health. Today, we're diving into the exact bedtime seniors should aim for. 
why it matters, and practical steps you can take to transform your nights and your days. As we age, our sleep patterns change. It's not your imagination if you find yourself waking up earlier, tossing and turning at night, or struggling to get back to sleep. That's because melatonin, the hormone that regulates our sleep-wake cycle, naturally decreases after age 60. On top of that, our internal clock, known as the circadian rhythm, begins to shift. Seniors often experience what's called an advanced sleep phase, meaning you feel sleepy earlier in the evening and wake up earlier in the morning. But here's the key. Poor sleep after 60 isn't just about being tired. It can increase the risk of memory decline, weaken your immune system, raise blood pressure, and even contribute to more falls and accidents. Sleep becomes a cornerstone of healthy aging, and the timing of sleep plays a bigger role than most people realize. So, what is the best bedtime for seniors over 60? For most people, the sweet spot is between 9 p.m. and 11 p.m. This window aligns with the natural circadian rhythm shift that happens with aging. Going to bed in this range allows you to catch the deepest, most restorative stages of sleep that occur earlier in the night before midnight. Here's why this matters. Restorative slow-wave sleep, which is linked to memory, repair of body tissues, and hormone balance, is richest in the first part of the night. If you stay up too late, you miss a big part of that benefit, even if you still manage to sleep seven or eight hours. On the other hand, going to bed too early, say 7 p.m., may lead to waking up at two or three inches the morning and struggling to get back to sleep. The goal isn't just picking a time, it's about consistency. Going to bed around the same time every night trains your body's internal clock, making it easier to fall asleep and stay asleep. How was it cool right? If you stuck with me all the way to this moment, then congratulations. Now let me quickly show you how to generate thumbnails for your videos without any stress. All you need to do is head back to your ChatGPT chat and ask it for a viral thumbnail prompt. For example, you can say, give me a prompt to generate a viral thumbnail for my YouTube tutorial. ChatGPT will instantly give you a ready-to-use prompt. Copy that prompt and head over to Google Wisk. It's completely free. Paste your prompt, set your resolution, and click on Generate. In just a few seconds, you'll have a captivating thumbnail ready for your video. The great thing is you can repeat this process to create as many thumbnails as you want, making it super easy to keep your videos looking professional and eye-catching. At this point, you're ready to start producing multiple videos and posting consistently, even daily if you want to scale fast. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and drop a comment letting me know what kind of video you'd like me to create next. Until next time, stay safe and keep creating.